I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set up custom fonts in your React Native app all in under two minutes. The first thing you wanna do is make an assets folder. So you can do make the and do dash P to create two at the same time, assets, fonts. Now what we wanna do is pull our fonts that we're using into this folder. So as you can see, I wanna use this Geist font from Vercel and you can download that from the website. So here's the fonts that we're gonna be using. I've just gone to get it and then I've just downloaded the zip. Now, as you can see, I've got my fonts in this assets slash fonts folder. Next, you wanna create a React Native config file. So we can do touch and reactnative.config.js. Then if we open up our code, we go down to this file. We wanna paste in this and the assets is gonna tell our applications where our fonts live. So now once that's done, you then wanna run an NPM script called React Native Asset. And what this is gonna do is gonna read your config file and then also link your assets to your apps. If we take a look at the changes here, we can see that we've added our React Native config file. We've now created a links asset manifest.json file in Android and also one in iOS. But you'll also notice that info.plist has changed. This is now including our UI app fonts and also stuff inside here as well. So now that you've linked your fonts to your app, how do you use them? Well, it's super simple, but there are a few caveats that you need to know about. So first of all, I'm gonna add a font family here and this is Geist font bold. And I know that my asset is actually called Geist bold. So we can just add that in here. Geist bold. Now you'll notice it doesn't work straight away and that's because we need to restart our app. Now that you can see our font is now working, we can go ahead and add some more. So font family, Geist medium. And then we'll just copy this down and also do another one for regular. And there you go. It's as simple as that to add custom fonts to your native app. And there are a few things that you need to know about just in case things go wrong. The first thing is, if you're renaming your font, say I renamed this to Geist Bold OTF, and then change this to Geist Bold, you'll notice it's not gonna work anymore. And even if you were to run React Native Asset and then also restart the application, you'll notice that the font still doesn't work. And there's actually an unrecognized font family of Geist Bold. Now, the reason for that is because the name that the app is looking for is not gonna be the name of the actual file of the font. It's actually called something else. Now, to find that, what we can do is actually reveal this font in the finder, add it to our font book, and then install it. Now, if you search for this font, which is Geist, we can now see, we can look at the bold and look at identifiers. And you can see here, post script name. This is the name or the identifier that you must use for it to be recognized. So even though I've named the font Geist Bold here, I still have to use the postscript name to ensure that it works on the phone. We can actually optimize this a little bit more and we can create a typography component that's essentially gonna be wrapping our text component. The only difference here is that we're passing in just a font prop with a string of bold, medium, or regular, which is gonna map down into the actual font name we wanna use. So if I just change this text component here into typography, and then go ahead and maybe remove this style prop, change this to font, and now I can just give it a bold prop. And as you can see, it's still gonna stay bold. That's a much easier way to keep your fonts uh, organized in your React Native app.